Waterford police are reminding drivers not to pass school buses. Hey, you think everyone would know by now, but it's happening, and it's dangerous and illegal, too. News 8's Tina Detel has the warning from officials. Here we go. Yay! <laughs> not much scares little Charlotte, but her mother, like most parents, does have her worries. With her starting school next year, she wants to take the school bus, so, like, I'm so nervous about letting her go, you know. Jade Aitken has seen people pass stopped school buses, which are letting off or picking up children. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, people get really upset. We honk and stuff, and the school bus does too. Some bus drivers contacted Waterford Police looking for help. Officers soon found parents with the same concerns and caught a driver passing a bus, which had its lights flashing and stop sign out. They're not happy with the $465 ticket, obviously, but it's a good reminder that child safety is the priority when the school bus are out there. Traffic officer Ryan Spear and says most don't know the law, which is why he put out a reminder along with this diagram showing that on two lane or multi lane roads, you have to stop whether you're behind or approaching a stopped bus. Where there's like four lanes and they don't realize it and they think they're in the other lane, so they just keep going. The only time you don't have to stop is if you are on the other side of a divided highway. People also need to know that you cannot pass a stop school bus, which is lined up in front of a school if this stop sign is out. Now, the fine is for each bus passed. So if there are five buses, that's five times $465. Some, though, know the law and break it anyway. People will be in a hurry and they'll just go around. And that could cause a child, parent, or even the bus to get hit. These buses run the same schedule every single day, so adjust your schedule if you're getting frustrated. If the bus driver gets the license plate number, the driver could get a citation. In Waterford, Tina Detel, News 8.